Lord be with you. Welcome everyone to this collective worship this week. We're considering the theme of respect and I ex imagine that many of you will have one of these around your home. I've got one, this one, which I've take, taken down from my study window, but other people will have drawn these or added them to notice boards, put them in windows, hung them on strings as a sign of hope during this difficult time which we're all living in. This um, symbol, the rainbow, comes of course originally from a Bible story uh, where it's remembered as being a sign of hope after the deluge, the flood, which Noah endured in that old story. And the rainbow came as a sign of God's hope that there'd be no more um, deluge of water and that Noah and his family would be able to live safely. It's a very, very useful uh, symbol as well as being uh, a real thing that happens and many of us will have uh, seen the rainbows in the sky round about our homes. You probably, if I asked and if I could hear, you probably be able to tell me how many colours there are in the rainbow. And if I asked again, you could probably tell me each individual colour. If you want a little uh, guide to memorising the colours, here it is. So, rainbows are signs of hope. And many leaders, politicians, religious figures have drawn attention to the power of the rainbow. Just to remind us that just as there are seven colours broken up from the sun's light through the water drops, so it takes many different peoples of all colours and shapes to form humanity. And we have heard uh, talk from politicians and religious leaders from America of the Rainbow Coalition. In South Africa, after apartheid was ended, Desmond Tutu, the Archbishop at that time, talked of the need for a rainbow nation that we should all come together and respect one another regardless of our cultures and backgrounds and what we look like that in God's world there's room for everyone to come together and be loved to give love and to receive love. In the Bible there's a, a vision of a kingdom where respect for all people will come about and it's also a kingdom where the animal world will be respected just as human beings are respected and all these animals humans will come together in a great period of peace it's from the book of the prophet Isaiah and uh, here's a short passage from that book it talks about a new king will come. The spirit of the Lord will rest upon that king. The spirit, God's spirit, will give him wisdom, understanding, guidance and power. Goodness and fairness will give him strength. These will be like a belt around his waist. Now here's an interesting bit uh, as regards animals. Here it is. Then wolves will live in peace with lambs, because they don't usually, do they? But they do in this vision of a peace, peaceful world. And leopards will lie down to rest with goats. Calves, lions and young bulls will eat together and a little child will lead them. Cows and bears will eat together in peace. Their young will lie down together. Lions will eat hay even as oxen do. A baby will be able to play near a snake's hole. A child will be able to put his hand into the nest of a poisonous snake. They will not hurt or destroy each other on all God's holy mountain, because the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord, just like the sea is full of water. 
And that great vision of peace and the coming kingdom is kept alive in the Bible and into the New Testament and in the time of Christ. Well, let's have some prayers. Um, if you'd like to join me in the Lord's Prayer, please do. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And a short prayer on this theme of respect and rainbow and a kingdom of peace. Help us, Lord, to live in the hope of all people coming together, respecting one another, just as you love and respect us in all our differences. Amen. The song uh, to finish with today is Bind Us Together, Lord. And the words on the screen, please join in at home. If it feels a bit strange um, singing by yourself, then hum it. And if no one's around, you can pretty well do much what you like and uh, do the actions as well with Bind Us Together. Hope you're keeping well and um, good wishes for you all at home in your families and take care. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.